Welcome to the captivating exploration of the physics behind light bulbs. You might think they're just simple devices that light up a room, but there's fascinating science at work here. Today, we're going to break it down step by step in a way that anyone can understand. Get ready to uncover the magic behind your everyday light bulbs. Let's begin with the basics, how do light bulbs create light? At the heart of every light bulb is a tiny wire called a filament. This filament is made of a tough material called tungsten. When you turn on a light bulb, electricity flows through this filament. The fascinating part is that the flow of electricity meets resistance within the filament. This resistance causes the filament to heat up, and it gets really hot, even hotter than a cooking stove. The magic moment happens when this filament gets so hot that it starts to glow. We call this glow, incandescence. Just like a piece of metal turns red when heated, the glowing filament emits visible light, making everything around you visible. But why does this happen? It's all about the physics of heat and light. When the filament gets hot, the atoms in the tungsten start to vibrate. These vibrations create energy, and this energy is what we see as light. It's like the filament is dancing with excitement and producing light as a result. Now, let's talk about the colors and brightness of the light. The color of the light produced depends on how hot the filament gets. If it's super hot, it emits bluish-white light. If it's not as hot, it gives off a warmer, yellowish light. This is what we call, color temperature. The physics behind this color change is fascinating. When the filament gets hotter, the atoms in tungsten vibrate faster, and this higher energy vibration produces bluish-white light. On the other hand, when the filament is cooler, the vibrations are slower, creating a softer, yellowish light. Brightness, or how intense the light is, is linked to the amount of electricity flowing through the filament. More electricity means more heat, which in turn means more light. It's like adjusting the volume on your favorite song. So, when you adjust the light with a switch, you're controlling the brightness. It's like a volume knob for light. The physics here is simple, more electricity means more heat, and more heat means a brighter light. It's all about finding the right balance to get the perfect level of illumination. Now, here's where things get interesting. While traditional incandescent bulbs are simple, they're not very efficient. They use a lot of energy, and here's the physics part, most of the energy they use turns into heat, not light. In fact, only about 10% of the electricity they use becomes visible light, while the remaining 90% disappears as wasted heat. This is where the physics of energy conversion comes into play. When electricity flows through the filament, some of it is transformed into light energy, but a significant portion is transformed into heat energy. It's like having a machine that's not very good at turning one type of energy into another. But there's good news. Technology has given us better options, like compact fluorescent lamps, CFLs, and light-emitting diodes, LEDs. Among these options, LEDs are the superheroes of lighting. They have revolutionized the game with some cool physics tricks. Unlike traditional bulbs, LEDs don't rely on heating a filament to make light. Instead, they use something called a semiconductor material and the movement of electrons. This is where the physics gets exciting. The movement of electrons generates light very efficiently, converting up to a remarkable 90% of the electricity they use into visible light. LEDs are like the efficient, energy-saving light bulbs of the future. The physics behind LEDs is all about how electrons, those tiny particles inside atoms, change energy levels. When they jump from a higher energy level to a lower one, they release energy in the form of light. This energy is harnessed to create light in a way that's incredibly efficient. It's like using the tiniest of dancers to create a beautiful, energy-efficient light show. LEDs aren't just efficient, they also last a long time. 
A typical LED bulb can keep shining for over 25,000 hours, which is much longer than old-style bulbs. Plus, they are tough. They can handle shocks, vibrations, and even extreme temperatures, making them a reliable choice for all sorts of lighting needs. Think of them as the marathon runners of the lighting world. The physics behind the durability of LEDs is related to their construction. They're made to be sturdy and resilient, and the materials used can withstand various challenges, whether it's sudden jolts, vibrations, or even extreme temperatures. It's like having a light bulb that's built to handle life's bumps and knocks. For those of us who care about the environment, LEDs are the way to go. They don't contain harmful stuff like mercury, which some other bulbs do. Moreover, their energy efficiency helps reduce greenhouse gas emissions, making our planet a greener and cleaner place. The physics of LED bulbs contributes to their environmental friendliness. Since they're so efficient at turning electricity into light and not heat, they use less electricity. Using less electricity means fewer greenhouse gases are produced to generate that power. It's like a double win for the environment. Another cool thing about LEDs is the precision of their light. While traditional bulbs scatter light in all directions, LEDs can be designed to direct light exactly where you want it. This is where physics helps create focused, precise lighting, making LEDs ideal for things like spotlights, desk lamps, traffic lights, and electronic displays. The physics of directed lighting with LEDs involves careful design. The shape and arrangement of the LED elements and the materials used help control where the light goes. It's like having a spotlight that you can point exactly where you need it. To wrap it all up, light bulbs aren't just about illumination, they're about the physics of light. From the resistance and heat in the filament to color temperature, brightness control, and the LED revolution, it's all science in action. So, the next time you flip that switch, you're not just turning on a light, you're witnessing the science that makes it all possible. Whether it's the warm glow of an old-style bulb or the efficient brilliance of an LED, you now know the science behind the magic. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through the captivating production and its unique characteristics, all explained by the simple physics that surround us every day. Keep those bulbs shining bright and your curiosity burning.